Hey everyone. Thanks for listening to this special edition podcast from Podfabula Productions. Wow. This is already our 10th show. I've been doing a deep dive into the resurgence of radio drama and audio fiction, especially as pertains to podcasting. An interesting and timely segment on this aired recently on A1, a news program on NPR, titled Lost in the World of Audio Fiction. I'll include a link to that broadcast in the show notes. I also just binge-listened to the entire season one of Girl in Space, and was pretty blown away at both the production quality and creative content. Again, I'll include a link in the show notes. I'm very fortunate to be able to air Mad Mel and the Meridians, a four-part radio drama created and produced by colleagues Gary Morgenstein and Mike Sargent. I won't keep you Mad Mel fans waiting any longer. Mad Mel and the Meridians In our last episode, the carbon-based life form known as the Great Melvin Worthington, armed with a secret Meridian religious text, the bewailment has blossomed into a prophetic figure whose words light the future. But his fame clashes with his woman Anita's loyalty, threatening their relationship. While Flem, secret emissary of the Meridian Imperial Chancellor Larence, begins doubting the true nature of his mission. But you cannot simply walk into a holy place uninvited. Is that not your earth definition of a holy place? Master, my conduit throbs! Mm, a longer brush this time, tiny raccoon. I will fetch the attachment. No, no, no. I will handle Joan. Make a proper appointment for this gentleman. Tiny raccoon, it's all in the wrists. <laughs> <laughs> radiates with your unexpected presence, glorious one. No need to whisper. They cannot hear. (laughs) Your beautiful Nava gown turns my tongue to stone. And the rest of your body will soon follow. You gave a human a holy spook. So he thinks! Oh. <coughs> but it, it is a false bewailment, my handsome quasi deity. False? Uh, yes. And his female, com- <coughs> his female companion will reveal it. Why? Has he failed to brush your conduits? No, because she despises me as if I were a Danubian three pronged sand slime that, who has crawled into her alluring sexual cavity. But here is the brilliant part. I am waiting. Once Anita has proven that the bewailment is false, she will blame me. But I will disseminate that very proof over their primitive communications portal called Twitter before the entire planet, Great Melvin, will be revealed as a deceitful fake. No human will ever believe anything he writes again. Hmm. Cleverly conceived. Thank you, my galaxy of light. More importantly, by providing only falsehoods, I have obeyed our beloved laws. A true citizen of Maridia. 
However. Uh, however is not a word I enjoy hearing from one whose anus could bear alaberries. A decision has been reached. Worthington must be canoodled. But, but, but why? He's harmless. He knows too much. From the traitor? There was no traitor. I lash a goat. Well, then where did all those ancient texts come from? Maradia. Maradia? But what of our sacred policy of non-interference? Clearly, this occurred before our ancestors adopted such a law. The law, if I may point out without being beaten, prohibits canoodling of aliens. Waved? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry I missed the public hearing on such a waiver, as prescribed by our cherished laws. Then state issues are involved. The council proceeds in secret. Uh, that still violates the charter of the charitable requiring a reading Silence. of the... Silence! I do not need a lecture on my reading of civics. Well, perhaps you do, my lord. <laughs> You will pollute over Addington and the female. If not, I will pollute all of you! Simerex Scrotum! What are you babbling about? Puerco breath. Chancellor Larynx, High Priest Donald of the Bewailment has arrived. Hooray, another Republican! Ignorant Terran, he's from Meradia. <laughs> oh, clearly you've never been canoodled. Oh, pig face. I canoodle every way possible. Oh, human idiot. He's ordered me to canoodle you and living anamic master Melvin. <sighs> Unlike archiving where you go poof, yet your essentials are preserved for the common good, unless you're a stupid human because you have nothing worth archiving. Oh, hell to the no! Should I return these new shoes to Barney's? Unless you want them. <laughs> They don't go with my chiffon skirt, but I will never live to wear them unless I do his bidding. Listen to me. I am a real-life Meridian. Just refill your prescription and this will all go away. I cannot. Terra's out of network. You give me no choice. Don't you wiggle your fingers at me. Meridian safe sex. Cheap stun. Oh, 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 God! I know! I don't feel! Ah! Ooh! Ooh! Believe me now. Oh, okay, okay, maybe, maybe. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Uh, I'm not certain anymore. Uh, while you were thinking, could you do that trick again? I'll lie on my back this time. I'll lie on my back this time. No, no, no. First, we must stop larynx. But how? I don't know. Use one of your alien weapons. If only your brains were as pronounced as your memories. I am a hairless Bakarian spider compared to larynx. What about the bewailment? Right. Well, it's a fake. <gasps> Ay, no puede ser. I knew it. I'll bore your peanuts if you tell Mel this will break his heart. He finally thinks he's a real scholar. Let me probe my vessels. Do all my radians stink out loud? Uh, uh, hello, dear. Uh, back so soon. <laughs> Understandable. Uh, uh, Flemmy, we have lots of work. Flemmy, what's wrong with you? Simrick Scrotum, of course. Master, you must enter the Ha Huna Pa. I already walk in Ha Huna Po. No, 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 that's Po, not Pa. Uh, you must be a master of the Pa. Where is that written in the bewailment? Volume 2. There is a second book? Yes. 
Which I did not know about. It was forbidden until you proved yourself. I, the great Melvin Worthington, prove myself? I live to prove myself for my master whose brush reaches so deeply into my conduits. Mel, deal with her. Uh, the tiny raccoon, will you please wait in the other room? Uh, you may use all my brushes. Hooray! Oh, good! So, Flem Flem, you have the audacity to test me. Uh, forgive me, Master, uh, but no human has ever entered the Hahuna Pa. Indeed, Simmerick himself will be smiling. I will absorb the book. Unfortunately, that would take years. So, I'm immortal. Can the whole world wait for your genius, Master? Probably not. That is why you must undertake the Fezbala, the pathway to, to the... Ha -huna -pa. Uh, correct, and quickly. Yes, but first... Now what? I must calibrate my meridian and human blood cells. <laughs> we ain't got all day, Mel! The joining of my ancestry is complete. Now, which robe should I wear? Does it fucking matter? Yeah, for the common pie, I wear brown. For the kalim of air, I wear black. Uh, the white robe is perfect. Master Unclaw! Brush sideways, tiny raccoon. Oh, oh. Mel? Oh, Mel, 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 Mel! I'm considering my shot, Rook. What does it say, mi amour? Very pleased. What a relief. Eyes closed. Kiss my brow, beloved Simmerick. Spin us in your broad embrace. Give us all you want to know. We are fools in this show. We are ready to begin. Ay, Dios mío. That wasn't it? Oh, that was just the Fezbala. Oh, oh, it's getting dark. I, I, I can't see. <laughs> Mel. Oh, ay, Dios mío, ayuda a nosotros. Mel, Mel, is he okay? Yes. You sure? Oh, yes. Very dead. What? What? Que que you? Oh, my God. Caput, fini, oh. au revoir. Muerto. Oh, no, 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 no. You killed my Mel? Madre de Dios. You killed my Mel? I'm gonna kill you, my God! Your wish has been fulfilled, one whose toenails can flavor soup. I thought you would attempt to search. I am forever loyal to my people. Now that the canoodling is done, you can return home while I clean this up. What method will you use? Oh, the usual? Emulation would be neatest. Dicing would take too long. They are a liquid species. Ah, all my problem. Now, just let me point you to the nearest wormhole and... I will observe. Observe? The disposition of the body. Uh, if I dare remind you, tomorrow is the opening of the Oxenball League, and you always enjoy throwing out the first internal organ. Sometimes tradition must be broken. Mm, Proceed. I do not have the tools. Here are human lighting sticks. Immolate! Mm. They have devices called uh, smoke alarms. No more. You died, pink face. What the? Who the fuck are you? Uh, Nita Espinosa, may I present Larynx, the Imperial Chancellor of Moravia, High Priest Donald of the Bewailment. You die too, E.T. This is such an amusing planet. 
finisher of them. I must catch a matinee before I leave. I wonder if the Fantastics is still playing. What does he mean, finish me off? What do you think he meant, Puerco Face? Oh, oh, oh. Ay, Dios mío! Where am I? Oh, you're alive! Oh, I can't wait or you're alive! Of course he's alive. You backstabbing bastard! Get off of him, Mel! Mel, get off of him! Get off of him, Mel! Flem, save it, your life! He's you saving your life! You poisoned me! Yes, so the Imperial Chancellor do would think you were dead. Imperial Chancellor? <laughs> Have you been reading our idiotic books? Uh, Master, somehow your work threatened Meradia. I was sent to dissuade you from writing further chronicles. But everything we wrote is true, honey. Oh, oh no, your books are complete nonsense, but we Meradians are real. He's missed the spark! Have you lost your mind, Anita? Show him, Flem. What? You know, the trick. Trick? Uh, I, I, Bobby, you feel. Uh, oh no, no, no! I, I cannot. It's forbidden to use. But, but I could not help myself so near to your astonishing memories. Oh, uh, what a performance! Except a real Meridian would be repulsed touching a human female. Uh, not necessarily. You would wretch at the thought of a pink nipple. Pink. And discharge spittle upon her C cup. C cup. Double D's, baby. But perhaps my breastesses inflame his manhood as they once inflamed yours? Like this worm I befriended, trusted as I trusted you? I've done nothing wrong. Yet. Yes, yet. Unless... Unless you don't want me anymore. Want you for what? To betray me, cheapen my work, bore me with your endless drivel? You cruel, self absorbed bastard! Malcriado, coño! I am for not telling you the truth. I haven't wanted you for a very long time. I'm delighted you found love, interspecies or otherwise. Now go. Mel. Get out. Mel, please. Leave, no, I say. I can't. Oh, my God. Mel, I <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, my darling. How much time before Larence returns? He could be a little erratic. Best if we depart now. We require weapons. Weapons? Why? To fight Larence. Great, Melvin. <laughs> that is a very bad idea. Then run, Blasted. I don't need any cowards. I'll handle Larence. No, no, please, reconsider. Go, go, go. I'll wear the brown robe. I will FedEx back the clothes. Perhaps I will keep the chiffon skirt. He is right. I am a coward. A sniveling, plebeian worm who abandons the only carbon-based life form who has ever stepped on my pleasure bubbles. I will not leave you, Great Melvin. I will not. I'm very glad to hear that. Thank you, my friend. Friend? Melvin? I it is still great, Melvin, to you. Now, let's roll up our sleeves and blouses. Can the bewailment help? It is rubbish. Everything's a lie, isn't it? <laughs> Not about the canoodling right around the corner. Then give me some rights from the real bewailment. Heresy! You're not a Meridian! I am 42.3% blood. My brain is... No, please, please, remember that it does not matter. It is forbidden. F-O-R-bidden. Do you want to be canoodled? Well, then I will. I don't think it will be much fun. I'm told it involves searing pain, much crying, but our cherished laws must be obeyed. Like you followed them with Anita? That was different. Obviously. Shall you die for an idea? Just like you, Mel. I need a drink. Why not? Hey, <laughs> not bad. I call it Meridian Mai Tai. Now, what about some ideas? Yes, sorry. But let me just refresh my drink. Well, there is the 
Wow. No, 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 I cannot. My grandpa Zarp will curse me and... Not if you're canoodled. I once snuck into a Donald ceremony. My female interdicti was catering. Larynx was in charge. Perfect. Turn the tables upon the Danubian three-pronged sand slime. What does the moi do? I do not know. Only the priest that touched larynx went... Does that mean poof? Uh, does poof mean someone turning into sand? Pretty much. Then, yes. Well, show me. I am not sure of the words, and you and I might go <laughs> by the poof. We're going poof anyway. Oh, canoodling is not poofing. In canoodling, see when it's... me. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Close your eyes. Uh, yeah, good, good. Uh, bend slightly at the knees. Yes. A head up. Yes. Shoulders, hips in alignment. I am at one. Splendid. Now, repeat after me. Essen bin Rabin. Essen bin Rabin. Keli la dida. Keli la dida. Bozo uni. No, no, no. Bozo uni. Arika shul sam kapot trek man. Lichi zoro, lichi zem, lichi zai gesund. Of course, just as I predicted. Nuts. Next on Mad Mel and the Meridians, can the great Melvin and Flynn thwart the evil Donald's plans to conquer Earth, or will they be canoodled? Coming soon to a galactic radio station near you. Thanks for listening. Tune in next week for the final installment of this galactic showdown. Before signing off, I want to express special thanks to Gary Morgenstein and Mike Sargent. I'm including their long list of accomplishments in the show notes. I also want to thank you for spreading the word about Podfabula Productions. You can learn more about me and the show on my website, www.writingtoraiseconsciousness.com. Follow me on Twitter, and participate in the fan base by checking out Podfabula Productions on Facebook, where shows are archived for discussion and comments. You can subscribe to the podcast series on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, and other download platforms. Finally, please stop by my Amazon author page and check out my nonfiction and fiction books and short stories. Until next time!